He's been really, really good, and um, I mean, obviously, you want to get this series started off on the right foot, and um, this is another team that has not seen him, and hopefully, it works to his advantage. What are some of the major concerns for you about playing an NL team? Pitchers hitting, <laughs> number one, running the bases, number two, um, not being as familiar with them as, as we are the other clubs, you know, the pitchers not having a history of what they like to do against hitters, um, those are concerns. How do you prepare your pitchers to hit, to run base? Well, we, we started in spring training, and then we gave them a little bit of a break, and then we started over a month ago, you know, have them slowly start swinging um, off a tee and then some toss and then, you know, basically BP and having them on the field. And, you know, the good thing is that within two weeks or whatever, I think we'll be done, our pitchers will be done hitting for the rest of the season, which is a good thing. And you'd be holding your breath for those two weeks. That's right. Mm -hmm. Not when we're at home, though. You can't really make it any safer, though, for them. They're expected to be. Ballpark. Right. I mean, you you do everything you can. Um, part of it is they never hit in the minor leagues a lot either, um, which I kind of wish they maybe hit a little bit more. I, I do, uh, but they don't. I think there's a uh, big difference in the way pitchers in the American League pitch and National League pitch. I mean, years ago there was a difference. Yeah, I don't think I don't think it's as much as maybe it used to be, um, but obviously, when you get to the the bottom of the orders, you know you can pitch around the eighth hitter to get to the pitcher, and, and you can pitch a little bit different that way. But I mean, the way you're going to approach their sluggers in the National League is probably the way you're going to approach American League sluggers. You're going to have a plan, and you can try not to let them beat you. Do you enjoy the strategy of it in the National League, having to double switch, having to think about things like that? Well, it's yeah, I, I enjoy it. I grew up on it. Um, it's my first managerial job was doing it. Uh, I, I do enjoy it, and it's nice that we have a full bench, and we have a couple lefties and a couple righties and guys that we can put in some different spots, so it works pretty well for us. Probably the most versatile uh, team that we've had in, in years just because Solarte can play everywhere, Kelly Johnson can play a number of different positions, and you can put each anywhere in the outfield, and it's pretty versatile. Chip Beltran, just five hits in his last 41 at-bats. Are you seeing anything, any indication that he's coming out of it a little bit? No, I, I thought he had some decent at-bats in L.A. that last game. He's due. I mean, he's just going through like what other guys go through during the course of the season, and you know, eventually you get even, and that's the fun time for a hitter. And I hope it starts right now. I mean, he, he obviously he's familiar with this club. He saw him 19 times last year and uh, knows their pitchers pretty well. Do you think for him there was any carryover from when he fell over the wall in Tampa? You know, it could have been. I mean, he swung the bat really well in Boston um, after that. But you know, I've I've thought about that, wondering, you know, could there be something there and. He says he feels good and doesn't get a lot of treatment, but I still wonder about it. He hurt his shoulder on that? Did he land on his shoulder, hand, his hand, lay? I mean, he got to him a little quicker than he thought. Joe, we can't have that running. Carlos Gomez, yeah. Hey, what did you think that? I, I think it was Brian just probably protecting his pitcher and, and trying and being a leader on his club. And, um, you know, things happen in the heat of the moment. And I, I wouldn't think there'd be any carryover now. Um, but it's just part of the game. And, you know, sometimes when you play against guys, you have a much different opinion than when you play with them. And, cause you that, don't, is that kind of, you know, that kind of action that he did, which you call protecting his pitcher, part of the reason that you guys wanted him? Yeah, yeah, because obviously we, we feel that he, he's a leader, that he, that he's protective. He's going to do his job behind home plate. He's going to do whatever it takes, and, um, and he's a very good offensive player. But I mean, those are some of the leadership skills we were looking at. Yeah. How dangerous a hitter has Gomez become? Really dangerous. Um, 
and it increases because you throw the speed element in there. And he'll bunt for base hits. I mean, he'll do anything. He'll hit the ball out of the ballpark, doubles, triples. So, I mean, it, it's important that we keep him off the base because he's extremely disruptive. So do you know McCann well enough yet to joke with him about that, or is it something you kind of stay away from? No, I, I haven't said anything to him about it. Joe, I know you haven't seen a lot of them, but you look at this team, 22 and 13. What do you think makes this Brewers team so tough? They pitched extremely well. Um, their starters have thrown the ball really well. We're seeing a guy in Gallardo who's very tough, um, has been the leader of this staff for a number of years now. Uh, burst onto the scene about seven years ago. Um, they didn't mix pitches, uh, but they're, they have pitched extremely well. And uh, their timely hitting has been good. And they've been without Ryan Braun for about 10 days now, 11 days now, and it's, you know, it's probably affected their offense a little bit because he's a very good player, but, I mean, they're still scoring enough runs to win. Joe, how do you describe CeCe as a, as a teammate and kind of a leader just because he was so big here in 2008 when he came over? Well, I think you could go around the clubhouse and they, everyone would probably tell you he's one of their favorite teammates. Um, he's, he's a wonderful guy, and he's easy to get along with no matter who you are, and... Uh, Likes to have fun and loves to compete. And as far as a leader, he does it the right way. He goes out there and competes and does the best he can and, and takes responsibility for all of his actions and never makes excuses. And I mean, that's what you want from your players. So you haven't shown any concern about CC this year, but anything off the last start? Right? No. Um, you know, obviously there might be a little emotions. I mean, it's been a while since he's been back here, but. You know, I, I really believe his stuff is better. It's just staying out of that one inning. 